Now, I think we can change everything if we simply change the way we think about things, folks. But again, it's all got to come from within. It's never going to work with anybody if they don't change their heart space first. And that's why I go back so often into talking about your own perfection. You've got to find this. You've got to see this perfection within yourself because when you see that, you see how divine you are and you can see it in others. And then all the barriers break down and you have strong community. That's all it takes to have strong community, folks, is to find the perfection in yourself. So it's all about changing your heart space. When you do this, when you find that perfection and you apply it to the world around you, then everything changes. And by applying it to the world around you, what I mean is you treat other people in La Cash, treat them as yourself. Even when I'm dealing with counsellors and police officers, I, I treat them as if I'm talking to myself. I don't see them as anything different to me. I don't see them as anything superior to me. I don't see them as anything I have to fear. They're just another person. They're just another expression of divine consciousness. They're just another reflection of myself. So it doesn't matter. I mean, there's no point in me being abusive to these people. But if these people can't see their own perfection, then they may choose to try to do something like perhaps exercise a right of ownership over me because they believe in this corporate system. That's okay. If they want to do that, that's their perspective. But I'll simply ask the right questions to the right people and I'll disentangle myself from that system because that system isn't real. It's fiction. And if you ask the right questions, then it exposes itself as fiction. And that's all I'm suggesting that you do. I don't want people to go out and attack the system and get themselves in trouble. I simply want them to understand who and what they are and to stop allowing themselves to be stolen from the way they currently are. And everybody is, folks. Everybody who lives in Western society is being stolen from. There's no question of that. Anybody who's paying taxes on anything, anybody who's paying rates, anybody who's paying anything to government is being stolen from. As I said, folks, I think we have a real opportunity here for freedom if people choose to pay attention. Stop being distracted with all of the stuff that's around you, all the Sandy Hook stuff. This is a huge distraction. I'm calling actors and this. I mean, I don't know. No one can prove that it was actors. No one can prove any children died. No one can prove any children didn't die. It's very, very difficult. I mean, I look at it and I think it's, it's irrelevant. What's relevant is that the event was staged. And it was staged. Of course it was staged because it's impossible for Adam Lanza to have gone and done all of that. It's impossible for Adam Lanza to have carried all that ammo in there. I mean, he'd have to be a super soldier. He really would to go and do what he did to release 100 rounds in that short space of time in a room with no earmuffs. How would you do that? You'd be dizzy. You'd be so disoriented by the end of it. There's also the interesting point that there's a death certificate which shows that Adam Lanza died the day before. So there's no question that the event was staged. The whole actors thing, the whole did the kids die, did the kids not die, were they sacrificed, is it a ritual, is it all, it's irrelevant, it doesn't matter. What matters is how the event's been played. That's all you need to do, look at the bigger picture. Just look at the bigger picture with all of this stuff, folks. And that's what I'm asking you to do with this corporate system, is look at the bigger picture. You know, rather than complaining about your taxes, look at the bigger picture. Rather than complaining about the whaling or the wars or the situation in Gaza or anything like that, look at the bigger picture. It's a corporate system. It's a corporate system that functions because the people of the world don't know that it's a corporate system. But if they ask the right questions, it will expose itself. And if you're a person who functions in that way and needs legal clarification on things, then by simply asking the right questions to the system and having the system expose itself for you, then you will become free. Then you may have a chance to discover your own perfection and discover who you are. And again, humankind, mankind will have a chance to seize the opportunity that is being offered to us and to change the direction the ship of state is sailing in. I really believe we are a beautiful world. We are a beautiful species. Everywhere I've gone around the planet, I've met beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful men, beautiful women, beautiful, beautiful people. And each one of these people has a, an incredible spark of life in their hearts and an incredible soul that you can see behind their eyes. And so many of them have been brutalized and repressed and reduced to a state of constant fear and constant worry and constant feelings of inadequacy and a yearning for something more. Because all of these people, even those who are not awake, even those who don't understand how reality works, know that there is something more. They're just not sure what it is or where to find it. But what they're looking for, folks, is themselves. 
They are looking for those parts of themselves that they have not yet discovered. And now we have a chance to discover them. And we now have the opportunity to have something more. But we have to seize the opportunity. And it all starts within. I mean, I talk about all the stuff that's happening to you externally, but every time I do, every show when I've presented these things that are happening all around the world, what I've attempted to do is to show you the answer, the solution to these problems. That's why I've showed you the problem, because I want to help you realize that you hold the key to the solutions for all of these problems. You hold it within your heart, every single one of you. I really do feel that the world is about to change, folks. I think this is going to be the year that we see some really, really significant things happen. And I think it's important that people understand that change is something that we all do. It's something that we're all involved in. History happens as we participate in it. And the changes that we're going to see will come about because of the actions of people. And there are a lot of people who want positive change in the world, but they're just not participating. They're sitting back and they're waiting for it to change around them. And all I'm asking for is audience participation. That's really all I've ever been asking for. My main goal with all of the radio shows and all the films and everything that I've done has been the empowerment of mankind and a freeing of human consciousness. I really have attempted to help people see the beauty and the power that exists within themselves because I think that's how we deal with it all, folks. I think the whole system would change in three seconds if we started to really appreciate our own divine perfection. And there's a lot of people who say they do, but they don't apply it to the world, so therefore they don't. Therefore they don't see it clearly enough to see the need to apply it to the world around them because... If they really saw their own perfection, then they would clearly see that perfection in others. There would be no question of this. There would be no division. There would be no judgment towards others. There would be no need to compete with people. There would be no need to profit from people. There would be no desire to do so. If we really, really see our perfection, it makes us want to give because we see the beauty in giving and we see the reward that giving holds for ourselves. You know, the way you improve your life is to improve the lives of those around you. I've been saying this for years and that's how the barriers break down and that's how the world changes. And that's what we've got here, folks. We've got a huge opportunity right before our eyes right now. We have an opportunity to participate in a history-making event the time when human consciousness woke up to itself and stepped up to its responsibility and became free. That's what we have. And I think it's important that we notice this and it's important that we choose to come into our power because if we don't, if we just go back into apathy and we just go back to our bubble and we just allow the world to carry on the way it is, then we're going to wake up one day and we're going to find that we're not living in a world that we want to be in. Maybe we won't wake up. Maybe we'll just stay in our bubble. We'll die in our little TV world. But the people of the future will have the legacy that we have left behind due to our failure to act. And I think as responsible custodians of this planet, we need to act. That's why I do what I do, folks. I do what I do because I don't have a choice. This is just what I do. The only other choice I have is to let the world slide down the hole into corporate oblivion. And to me, that is not a choice. There is no alternative to what I do. I have to continue with the message and I have to continue on this path because it's what I'm here to do. I believe it's what everybody is here to do. They're here to improve reality by their presence in it. They're here to make a difference. They're here to have the experience and to see what legacy they leave behind. But another part of this is that they are also here to be custodians of their own future and custodians of their children's future and custodians of the planet that we live upon. And I think we've strayed very much from that path. But now what we are seeing is a global awakening to the reality of this. And we're seeing a global need to step into our responsibility. And that's what real awakening is. I think it's just about the end of the show here, folks. I'm going to have to leave it there for now. Thank you very much 
for joining me today. It is a huge pleasure to be able to come on the air and speak to people the way I do. And thank you so much for the support that you've shown me. And thank you for taking the time to listen to these broadcasts. It means a lot to me that you all do so. And it really does mean a lot to me, the amount of mail that I get sent as well. So thank you very much for that. Thank you to anybody who's ever helped out with the website. It's it's very much appreciated. Thank you so much. It's the only thing that keeps it going. And I know times are hard for everybody, folks. They're hard for me. They're hard for everybody. So hang in there and we will get through this. But I have to leave it there for now, folks. I'm completely out of time. It's been a pleasure speaking to you again this week. And I'll look forward to speaking to you again next week. Please take care until then. In La Keshe, my friends. In La Keshe.